is a black Christian missionary Talking about relationship with God, fashion And everything in between Together learning about a new culture And how they love I'll take care of you, you take care of me Then everyone is taken care of Hello, saints and friends. Thank you so much for tuning in to MKJ TV. It is a little loud, so don't leave me any messages about it being loud because we're at Starbucks. But I decided to do an interview right now where I have a group of awesomely fly people, and I wanted you guys to meet them because you guys are always upset that y'all don't meet the people I meet. So it's all good now. You get to meet them in person. So I'm gonna give y'all know I'm a collector of stories. So I'm gonna get a couple stories today while we're here at the table, and then we're gonna parlay and partake and peace out. Right? So here we go. Introduce yourself, where are you from? Nice and loud, because it's a little loud okay, in here. Okay, um, Dehima from Miami, but Jamaica, I was raised in, so, yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh, we're going to come back around, just okay. introducing everybody right now. I'm Jamie, born in Atlanta, raised in Miami. Whoop, whoop, East Coast. We already know who this is. You guys remember him from Boys in the Hood video. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Roll and Coke, born in Memphis, college in Atlanta. Where'd you go to school? Well, I'm surprised you didn't say it the first time. Samara, um, originally from New York, but I like to be in many places. Coming here from Pennsylvania. I'm Don. Also, hi Don. Also, originally from New York, and I've also lived a few different places, mainly on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Coming from Montreal. Word. Okay, so today. We all kind of randomly got together for this party that was happening. Um, I don't think any of us actually went to any of the festivities, like officially. <laughs> but we did spend the weekend together. So um, it's been very interesting. Uh, she just had to pull a knife on the Adashi. And you guys know on the last video from the Adashis from the beach who were groping up Courtney's booty, he almost got another booty grab right here. And then he got arrested by the police. But I just felt bad recording that because it was just sad and pitiful. Okay, so... Who's been here the longest in Korea? How long you been here? Uh, February will be two years, so a year and two years. Okay, so two years. Three. Three. Oh, that's right, the baby. Welcome, man. Eleven uh, months into a. Yes, countdown. Uh, it'll be year in October. And year in October. Word and as for um. My new viewers, I've been here for four years, so you guys already know, and you can flip back through the videos and catch up all the way to now. Okay, so what has been the best thing and the worst thing of living in Korea? The best thing, I guess, um, monetarily wise, you know, I'm able to save money, pay bills, pay loans, and travel as much as I want. Um, I couldn't exactly do that in the States. Um, and I guess the worst thing is that. Koreans are very close-minded, you know what I'm saying? It's like they're not open to new things, they're not open to possibilities of new things. So it's kind of like that is a struggle at times. Besides communication barrier, anywhere you go, like right. that I would think is a, is a struggle. Okay. And the new baby. So what's been the best thing about being here? So far, the best thing, um, definitely the experience, you know, it's once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, I meet someone new every day. Side note, that's not my camera. These people were inspired to use their video camera since I'm using my video camera. So now the frequencies <laughs> are bouncing off. Okay, go ahead. Because my fans will let me know. They'll be like, why is it loud? Uh, that wasn't me. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. No problem. But yeah, the opportunity um, meeting new people. And it's just it's a journey. You learn a lot about yourself. Um, and it's an opportunity to, to just 
to expand your mind and grow as a person. Uh, the worst, I would say, the stereotypes and just to add on what, what he said about people about creating a close minded. Um, but it's a it's a good thing also because I feel like I can represent um, my culture. I can represent women in a better light, just in general. I can represent. And you have a book, yes? Yes. Um, Tell us book, about your book, picture book. It's a memoir slash um, inspirational literature slash poetry. It's called Dear Love. Uh, and it's available worldwide, Amazon.com, Mars and Nobles. Beautiful. Now, did you self-publish or did I, you have a publisher? I, I work with the publisher, but she's independent, so it, it's an independent project. Wonderful. That's really, really beautiful. I think a lot of times uh, content can be lost by using a publisher. Yes. Like they'll take and they'll be like, oh, we like this, we don't like this, and but you got to keep everything exactly how you wanted it. It's 100%. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, y'all already know when I promote people on my show, y'all got to go do it. I wouldn't promote it if it was whack. All right. All right. Mr. Pope. I already asked you this question on the last video, but just for everyone who didn't see the Boys in the Hood video, um, what has been? Anyway, here's the idol she getting arrested. Oh, he took a picture. <laughs> yes, this idol she was crazy. And the thing was, guys, we were in the restaurant, and none, no one was helping. Like it's an open door restaurant, and. The staff was looking like, oh, that I, she's harassing them. Hmm. And they went right back to work. So this one says... Here you go. Oh, here he is. Says, this one says, knife. let me grab my knife. Oh, you got it on video. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, with the knife in your hand, though. <laughs> I love it. I didn't know Okay, that. so Roland, I'm going to switch up your questions because I asked you those before. Sure. So you're getting ready to go back to the States. What are you thinking right now? I mean, I'm excited. My year has mm -hmm. been complete. Um, I've learned a lot. I'm taking a lot of good things home with me. Um, I've grown as a person. Um, I have made a lot of connections here, and my friends here are all around the world. So it's been a very, very good time here. But my time is up. I'm ready to go back to school and my master's. Okay. So any regrets on coming? Not at all. Okay, now, and can you talk a little bit about your school? I mentioned it before that different people work in different kinds of hagwans and different kinds of public schools. Yours, I would say, probably has been the best, like, teaching position. So just tell me a little bit about what you do, like, why you're not just a regular classroom teacher. So my school is on the countryside, but we have, like, 78 students. Um, I have my own classroom. I don't co-teach. Um, and I teach the elementary kids. Um, we do, um, like classes with Australia, so we do video conference classes. So I teach Australian kids as well as my kids. And we do it together there. Um, we went to Australia, the school papers still with Australia and China. So we have to meet the kids, and they're coming here actually at the end of the year. So we do a lot of different things like that, virtual excursions and stuff like that. So I have a lot of, it's all, it's all hands on, and I don't work out of a workbook. Like I design my own classroom. So we read novels and things like that, or whatever I choose them to. Like right now, we're, we're starting to read Sounder. So I think it's going to be really good for the kids to get like a cultural aspect of America. Wonderful. High five, buddy. Way to do it. All right, Tamara. Hi, boo. Hey. Do you watch Hey Friend Hey? Okay, welcome back. All right, you guys already know I always have to delete my videos and etc. etc. So, Tamara, what has been the best part of living here in Korea as a teacher? I would agree with um, Jay. I think that the experience, getting to know different people, the culture, has been awesome. Um, the downside about Korea for me is it's just really homogenous, and so they're not um, they're not really open to different things. Um, they're kind of ignorant. Should I say that? Can yeah. I say that? You be honest. It's a very honest <laughs> they're they're, show. They're not educated about different people, different cultures, so it's kind of. Um, when we got here, there were a lot of bad reactions. Like, I had grades, we were on grades, and they would just look at me, stare at me everywhere I went. The, the students would get scared, they screamed. To my first day of class, they screamed like the whole time. They were really scared of me. So it was, it was hard to get here, but um, you just have to educate them. Right. Each one, teach one. <laughs> Word. Hi, you know what? You so official behind these Stevie Wonder spectacles you got on. <laughs> you just missing a piano. Hit something. <laughs> um, I think my the best thing for me has been 
the spiritual journey that I've been on since coming here. Really, um, I really enjoyed meeting all the people that I've met so far. I feel like my life has been added to um, because of the people that I've come into contact with. Mm -hmm. That's the best thing so far for me. Like, that's what's keeping me in Korea longer because I've met so many people that I don't feel comfortable leaving behind just yet. Um, maybe the worst thing for me is I agree with um, Tamara and Jamie. It's very because there is one culture here, they just don't seem to understand anything else. And so, um, just little things like how do you wash your hair? Like, why is your skin gonna come off? What's like my color and everything? They don't, it's not like the worst thing ever, but that's probably the worst thing that I've noticed. Um, actually, no, the worst thing for me is the everybody wants to be the exact same, so it's like an assimilation type of thing. So there's a really high amount of plastic surgery and suicides and people being depressed and thinking that they're just not good enough the way that they are. Mm. And that just kind of hurts my heart. So maybe the way that the culture strives to be something else all the time is kind of difficult to be around. Understand, understand. Okay, question for the table. Dating in Korea. Uh, look at this face. <laughs> Dating in Korea. <laughs> These faces are classic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, ah, the Korean style. Ah. I can say, personally, I was not for it at all. I was like, yeah. They're kind of feminine. Still. Korean men are a little bit feminine to me. Um, and I like very manly facial hair, like big, big chest, fair. Nice shoulders, thick neck. Like I like, I like men. So, uh, but recently, I found some Koreans that I find to be very attractive. Okay, now they sometimes they say the longer you're here, you can track yellow fever. Yeah. So it's not necessarily that that's what you would have picked first, but right, it's a drug. So do you feel like the art? No, you really just opened up to a different. No, I just finally, I'm not saying I'm completely opened up to it. But I am entertaining the idea now. Before I was like, oh, all my friends are too. Okay. No. <laughs> but now I'm actually open to the idea of dating. Dating culture is so it's so different different here. And yes. I don't know if I can survive it and not hurt somebody's feelings. Yeah, I've, I've always been. A, I think I've always thought the word attractive was but I was open to dating. One, I respect their culture. They're not really open to dating foreigners. But, very hard, like they're very family oriented, and um, so it's hard to kind of date someone without dating their family. Right. And the, the older people are not really open to interracial dating at all. So um, I respect that about them, so I don't want to interfere or anything like that. But um, I, I'm not going to talk about certain things, but they are like, there. No, they, I mean, I'm open to dating Koreans. Um, but Are you entertaining you someone now? Is that why you keep pausing? <laughs> yes, it's okay. Yeah, it's These people will never probably ever meet you, so it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and it's, the person's cool or whatever. However, um, like Dawn said, it's so different. Um, after one day, the person asked me um, to actually be his girlfriend. And I'm like, what? I don't know you. You know, that kind of thing. But... The way they date here is that they get to know you after the start. Right, right, after it's official. After mm -hmm. it's official. And boyfriend and girlfriend, um, or being in a real serious relationship, or, or what we consider a serious relationship, is not serious to them. It's not as serious to them. It's, right. it's different. And then they have the whole 100 days thing. And right. after that, that's when you know you can make it. It's just it's a lot different than our dating. It's very different. And even amongst Koreans, like my friends who are Koreans, yeah. when they date, they... Um, they date each other and she'll be like she'll call me like oh this is this guy and blah 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 and then it doesn't work out i promise it's like one day a turn around then she's like this is my boyfriend whoa whoa exactly. what happened to max like who's this dude like so they and they do those things called the nights where they they call it a nightclub but it's not really a nightclub like you go with your friends you sit at the table right and then the guys if they like somebody they see they send you a drink you go over and then yeah that's how i met so yeah it's very very interesting uh, Mr. Morehouse, how's dating been in Korea? <laughs> um, yeah, this is a difference, I guess, in terms of... <laughs> yes, you better sing that in the background. 
um, they don't understand you. I like this book. Like, they don't understand the culture, where you're coming from. It doesn't get deep. Like, also, like, you can't have a deep conversation. Like, mm. you know, Besides by them speaking English. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just not good enough. I just, I don't have the persuasion range right now. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I would follow that with a different question, but I'm going to let you slide because I love you. So, we're going to do that. <laughs> I'm still a newbie, so I don't have a lot to say, to add about the dating. Um, I know it's cliche, but it's just me and myself and baby Jesus right now. Yes, baby Jesus. Not full-grown Jesus, just baby Jesus. I myself. Oh, that's good. I'm born into the person that I would like to date. Wondrous. So, I'm open to it. Right now, Word, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing at all. Last but not least, hi team. <laughs> I mean, I'm open to it. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily think I would. Um, I think everybody took something on it. They, they could have a tendency to not understand where I'm coming from, not understand my likes and dislikes, or you know, my culture. So it's really hard to have, you know, an intellectual conversation. You're talking about something else, and you don't understand what I'm talking about, you know. And um, I mean, that's it. I'm entertained, and that's all it was. Okay. After, you know, like again, we were, I was talking to them earlier. In Korea, they have this thing called egg yolk. Which is oh like yes. The cutesy, cutesy, baby talk. Oh, Can you do it? Can you do the egg yolk? No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Goodbye, Oppa. Exactly. I think that is so annoying. So many foreigners do. Get with, you know, Koreans do that on and on and on and on, and it annoys the hell out of me. So no, sorry. <laughs> okay. So what has been something you guys have been missing back home? Like something you did all the time? Is music, movies? What? You, what? What are you missing? Mm-hmm. Food you're missing, Brian Fernandez. Um, <laughs> you know, oh Netflix, get a VPN. You know, like Gotcha. I mean, so that stuff you can get is your family. You know, yes. Stay here for X amount of time. Yes. Um, so that's what I miss. Yes. Um, what else? Um I miss my friends. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Chicken patty with some cocoa bread. Or some um, chicken with some cabbage. Or some, I just like every day I'm just like, man, I really wish that I could eat this. You know what? I have to cook it first. Just eat it. Ah, uh, pre made. I actually miss American Chinese food. Like at random, I'm like, yes, we saw which. Oh my gosh! I miss American Chinese food. I'm like, Yes. Yes. Chinese food. Brown sauce. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen, I've seen, I need that. I do miss I American, Chinese American Chinese food. American Chinese food. Not the real stuff. Yeah, pizza. real stuff is not good. It's, it's not. It's not a fan. Pizza, pizza, pizza without corn and things on it. Yeah. No corn on my. No corn on my pizza. Why corn? No potatoes. Southern food. I also miss southern food. True story. Okay, so what is something that you guys would take from Korea and implant into the U.S. culture if you could? What's something that you like, man? They really mastered this. We should do this back home. Like, I feel like, for example, if, if they got out a building today, yes, tomorrow it was a clothing store today, tomorrow it'll be a restaurant. You get what True. I'm saying? Like, they work hella hard. True. Um, you blink and so it's I like, what happened to my store? Her work ethic, you know? Um, yeah, a lot of people don't have an estate. I feel like a lot of people also think things should be given to them. Like, they're obligated to certain things. And I think Koreans work for what they have. You know what I'm saying? Mine Anyone is, else? Mine is very superficial, but I love the, well, not all the Korean girls, but they wear something kind of cute, the sneakers. I actually really love it, like, for real. So, I'm, I've already decided I'm definitely taking that back with me. <laughs> cute outfit, new balances. Now I look nice. Now I look nice. I like fashion, so you import the fashion. All right, see? I think, well, I do like their work 
work ethic to an extent. I think they work too much. And they don't have good balance. But I do want, I think that we should, the education system, the students do study. They know how to study. They study very hard. And um, they are very prepared for life, I think. I think we can use some of that. But to an extent, because I think they work too much. Um, they don't have good balance. But. Yeah, and I think socially, I think work-wise, yes, but socially, no. Yeah, 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 for sure. Bro, what's something? Because you're getting ready to go back. So if there's something you could take with you when you hop on that plane, what would you take? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I like Korea for being Korea, but I like home for being home. I don't want to, I wouldn't take anything. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I really don't know. Okay. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Nothing. Okay, so you've been here three months. What's something that's blown you? Like, oh, we need this back home. Or we need to do this back home. Uh, true story. Yeah, they I go hard with never, fubu here. I would never, ever in my life buy anything in fubu in America. Exactly. But this is Korea. Right. It's more less. It's yeah, it's real fubu fubu. Like, they yeah. go hard for fubu. They do it differently. It's not American, though. It's no, it's American it's fubu. Company. It's the same company. It's the the Asian fubu. Yes. It's American. It's the same man. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's it's real, real. Even the um, they have like they make a specialty line for snowboarding, so they have like the snowboarding outfits and all. They go, they are serious. Which I think it's amazing. Like you know, it it, it it dried out in America. Let's see where we can you know infiltrate a market and like for us by Asia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not mad about it. Not mad about it. Okay, who's traveled? I mean, well, everybody's at the table traveled. Where have you been? Some countries that you've been and what did you like? Just briefly, what did you like about it? Uh, let's see. I've been to Spain, Russia, Sweden, Denmark, um, England, Trinidad, uh, of course, Canada. Pretty much the same places. Um, right, these two peas in a pod, by the way, they're best friends, so they do a lot of things together. Yeah. And now Korea, and um, the thing that I like the most, I love Spain the most. I feel like I, I just had a very good experience there, but I love traveling to different countries and really staying there for a while. It, it helps me to understand another culture, but it also helps me appreciate my own culture more. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of one of those Americans like, uh, I hate America, it's so stupid, we're so privileged. And then I leave America and I'm like, I want my privilege. I want my privilege. <laughs> Why do people so rude to me when I'm paying them? So um, I really like being able to be in another culture. It kind of reminds me of who I am and what I kind of want to be as well. Word, word. So uh, did she leave off any countries on the list for you? Morocco. Morocco, okay. okay. And Andorra. But... But, but um, especially when we go to hostels and stuff, we get to meet so many people in places. Yes. And I really like the, the connections that I made. Um, some people were still friends with. Yeah, some people were still friends with. Some, you know, they were just people I chill with while I was there. But um, just getting um, a sense of their culture is, is an awesome experience, and that's something that I always remember. Different people who I met in places. When we lived in Spain, the common tongue, well, everywhere you go, the common tongue is just English, but um, at this one hostel in Sweden, we had to actually use our Spanish because that was the only language everybody else spoke. So I think, I think it's really cool to just, you know, especially if you're learning a language. Mm. And, um, you know, communication, I love communication. I love communication for culture. Sorry. Louder. Yeah, because the babies are out. <laughs> so I said I like communication and being able to um, just speak to other people and learn about it. Awesome. Okay, now Roland, I'm not gonna about to have you list all these countries. Just tell me how many stamps do you have in your passport? Um, 13. 
13. What was your favorite place? My favorite place was... I love Australia. Australia? It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I never thought it would be as beautiful as it is. It's like so much open space, so many like... So much, this is like natural, like natural, like sheep and horses, like it's just everywhere. Kangaroo, like they used to come bouncing down the street, like it's real. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Australia is a beautiful country. They've done a, they've done a good job of keeping it natural, like no, mm. not a lot of buildings, not a lot of you know houses and things. Like they cut off so many parts of it to make it stay natural. So I love Australia so much. Word. I'll show you for the natural beauty, Jamie. Probably the least traveled most of my travel has been. Uh, Okay. I've been to Canada, uh, Jamaica, uh, but Korea is really the first really major. Like to live, major. live. Yeah, Me too. To live, to live, live, yeah, for but sure. I feel like it's a stepping stone. I want to go to Australia. I want to go to Italy. Okay, now is it true? I find that. After you travel, you like it's it's like addictive. Yeah. Like you you can want to keep going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's just the beginning. Okay, so where's your first place you want to go now? Now that you're here, where's the next stop for you? Or at least to visit, not necessarily to live, but to visit. I, um, my dream was always to live in Italy. I, I heard just the culture and the way they treat um, African Americans. Yes, like, we la love. Like they, it's, it's like, yeah. <laughs> Shondo, EBO, we haven't, we haven't done a video on that one, so we're just going to let that stay in tongues. Hallelujah. <laughs> Word, words. Uh, you just got back from a trip recently, right? No, I, I canceled my trip to Vietnam. Oh, okay. And that, like Jamaican said, the spirit said I wasn't supposed to go, and I didn't go. Yes, I love it. So, um, but Japan, Thailand, Cambodia, oh God, uh, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. I've been all over. Where did you just, where, where were you like, you know, I can hang my hat here personally? Thailand. Thailand. Okay, what about the people did you love? I just think they're genuine. Like, you know, remember Christy just said that. We just. I, I never, yeah. I was there two and a half weeks and anything I needed, it wasn't even like I had to ask. They already knew. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it was just the generosity there was amazing. And even the people, like foreigners that I met there, I'm cool with now. You know what I'm saying? It's like everybody was open. And I mean, you go, I've been to places and the people that live there, the locals are just staying. You get me? They don't have nothing to do with you. They don't want to have anything to say to you. And Thailand was completely different. And Thailand reminds me so much of Jamaica. Mm. Like, tropical everything. Like, here in Korea, I'm not paying $10 for a mango. I'm sorry. You get one for free. Right, right. No, so Thailand, I felt at home. So yeah, I would definitely go back. Peace. Okay, so I've already asked you guys about traveling. Um, it, you've, you've already accomplished one of your life goals. You've written a book. Any other life goals at the table? Like major life goals? I know you guys want to be singing <laughs> clinicians, specialists. Yes, and you both are music majors. And I heard y'all humming at different times. So you definitely can sing. I heard you. Roland, he's about to embark on his next life goal. He's opening a school. Whoop, whoop. Word, word. For me, um, artsy, artsy stuff, you know. Um, I really want to do a stationary line. I think people don't write letters anymore. Mm. Um, and for me, that's a big thing. I write letters every week to people at home. Um, I, the tangible, you know, a letter, a stamp, uh, opening that, I think there's a lost art in that. So I really want to do my own stationary line. And screen printing and so on and so forth. So yeah, just anything artsy. Wonderful, wonderful. Dawn? I, I, it's always kind of been my dream to work like as a translator for a consulate. Mm. Um, but it's very difficult to get into if you're not already, um, haven't already done like a lot of political mm -hmm. or whatever. So I was speaking with one of my teachers about it maybe a year ago. Because you're fluent in Spanish, yes? See? Yeah. If I went to a Spanish speaking country, it wouldn't be hard for me to pick it back up. Okay. But um, that is something that I really would like to do. But I just have so many different things that I want to do. Uh, my life goal is to move back to Spain. To live mm -hmm. in Spain for maybe six or seven years or something like that. 
Okay, so most of my viewers have either traveled um, locally or trying to travel more. Many, many, many of them really love K-pop and other things, but they really want to travel and teach. So what advice would you give someone if they wanted to pack up and start life overseas? Like, what advice would you give? I just think do your research. You know, I think a lot of people go by what, oh, my friend is teaching Korea and she said blah, 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 blah. No. And know what you want. You know what I'm saying? I said public school is not for everyone. Pop aren't for everyone. Mm -hmm. and know exactly what you want and know your worth and your value. Don't just I want to be in Korea, so the first job you get, you take it. No. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think know your value, know your worth. Because so many people come here and after a month or two they're crying and they want to go. Yeah, that's it's true. The worst situation ever. You know what I'm saying? So I think do your research and know exactly what you want from your journey here in Korea. Beautiful. No, no, that's cool. There's no order. Go ahead. Piggybacking, uh, like, I think um, one of the most important things is to be open. When I first got here, um, my experience was bad. I had a negative experience at first. But I think what added to that, what contributed to that was my mindset as well. Mm. Um, I was very negative about the situation. And as soon as I changed that, I started to enjoy myself. So, yes, um, research is important. However, I think um, also with the research, still be open to that idea. Things won't go as, as you think they will go. You know? Right. And to be open to receiving that positive. Right, and ultimately, I feel like, and I talk a lot about that on the show, that's life. Like, in general, whether you are moving overseas or moving across the street, like, it's ultimately dependent upon your perception because you guys know I always talk about energy, right? So, whatever energy you put out, that's the energy you're going to get back, you know? And that's the energy you draw to you. So, for sure. You were going to say something? Well, just with the openness, you should be open to like a new experience. There are a lot of things that living in another culture, maybe you're not prepared to um, come into contact with, and if you're completely close-minded, then it will just be a very bad experience. But being open to meeting new people and experiencing new things, I think is one of the most important things of traveling and living abroad. You have to be just willing to kind of roll with the punches and decide what is okay for you and what is not okay. Like, Oh no! <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Oh no, just to touch on what everyone was saying, um, I agree. Like, it's definitely not for everyone. And, you know, you have to have a strong mind, you have to have a strong spirit because things will break you down here. You know, it's a challenge, it's not easy. Yeah. What a and, tough skin. Yeah. Yeah, tough like, skin for sure. Said, do your research and, and, you know, do it for yourself. Don't do it because you think your family wants you to do it or because you think mm. it's your last option. Don't do it because of that. Do it because want to grow as a person and you want to want to expand you know so it's, this is definitely not something I did on a whim like it's probably one of the hardest decisions I made in my life I'm proud of. word word you know, at the end of the day being open or not you're in, this is not America you're not in your country yeah. you're in somebody you're in someone else's country yeah. so whatever you think whatever you believe nobody really cares and it's not <laughs> their responsibility to care because exactly. you are not in their country you have to live by their rules and their laws and I agree with that like you can't come to America and do things that you would do in your you know what I'm saying in, in your town so if, you, if it's you know what I'm saying if it's, if it's okay to reach your women and wherever you're from you know, come to America this makes you be able to do that because you can't this is how we live so you can't you know what I'm saying you can't go to someone else's country and think that everything's going to go your way and how you have to know that so you're in that country that's what you have to that's what people forget that like, just because you're American you're not just, you know you're not a superior you are when you're wrong yeah Right, for sure, when yeah. in Rome. Just because you're from England or wherever, it does not matter where you're from. You're in someone else's country, you have to know that they're from. Very true, very true. It's about, for sure, about respect. Okay, so very quickly, I want you guys to say your piece out, but also tell me the school and your major that you went to. Um, okay, so Art Institute of Florida, I majored in advertising and marketing. Um, and I'm with design. And basically. So, what else do I want to say? Oh, whatever piece out you want to say. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm tired. I'm not, I'm, yeah. It's because we just ate. It's that itis. We itis. ate some good food. That itis got you. Yes, yes. Uh, shout out to you. What, what, what? So, yeah, uh, University of Miami, uh, uh, communi communications uh, with uh, journalism focus, print journalism. Uh, yeah, so just shout out to my new fam. Love y'all.
wonderful. Aw, that was so pleasant. <laughs> oh, Lord. I just left Morehouse College. Um, yes. I my school. Um, be blessed. Do what you do. Live your life. Let's do it together. Go, uh, go ahead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, what was your major? I'm sorry, oh, what was your major? English, oh, English major. English, okay. Um, music major, vocal performance, and pedagogy. And we went to Oakwood, Oakwood University in Huntsville, Alabama. Wonderful. So we have half HBCUs at the table. Okay. Uh, also, Oakwood. I had a double major in Spanish and pre speech pathology, a minor in music, uh, voice, and guitar. Sweet. Oh, that's right. You play the classical guitar. I should totally get you on video doing that. That's pretty awesome. I have to practice for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but just, I guess, in a good farewell, right? Mm -hmm. Just whatever you decide to do. I think traveling, I think every person should for sure. travel to another Amen. country for a few months and experience something outside of your world. Yes. It's important because a lot of the reasons why we have problems is because of ignorance. And so... If you're the type of person that's like, I never want to go anywhere, you you should go. <laughs> you you're the one that you're, needs you're to go. The one. Please leave <laughs> and experience something else, and it, it will change your life. Yes. Traveling Word. and living abroad has completely changed the way that I think about a lot of things, and I've made some wonderful friendships because of my my thinking being changed. Yes. One dress. <laughs> Leave your house, run, right go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. As you know, always the peace, love, and hair grease. You've tuned into MKJ TV, and we'll see you next show. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. LA Beats. LA Beats. LA Beats. LA Beats.